Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, the 31st of July, the start of a weekend again. I was struck in the reading this morning for morning prayer from uh, the book of Acts, chapter 2. And in this chapter, we read the amazing account of the coming of the Holy Spirit, of Pentecost. And as we all know the story, the disciples are gathered in the upper room, they are praising and praying, and suddenly the Holy Spirit descends on them. And, and it brings about something of chaos. There's this rushing sound of a wind, the disciples start speaking in foreign languages, this attracts a crowd, and they can't help but notice these Galileans are all speaking their languages, all the known languages of the immediate world around Jerusalem at that time. And so the crowds come, and what I find interesting is that within the crowd, there are those who come intrigued, bewildered, questioning, but there are also those who come mocking. And in the story, we are told that they simply laughed at what was happening and said, these men are nothing more than a, a, a drunken rebel. They've had far too much wine to drink, and they are dismissive of what is definitely something of God's presence and God's power at work. How does this relate to you and me? Well, I don't want to go into uh, Pentecost and whether we ought to or not speak in tongues and whether it ought to be chaotic or not, but it's to say that we are called to live the life God calls us to. To live. We are called to be Christians. We cannot be Christians on a Sunday, or neither can we keep our Christianity hidden like a lamp hidden under a bowl. It's a useless lamp. Why even have the lamp if you're going to hide it? As Christians, we need to live out our faith and our life, and whether that involves the work and the power of the Holy Spirit is really for you to do yourself. Although, we all are filled with the Holy Spirit and we'll all display that power in one way or the other. It need not be chaotic at all. But when we live our life, we will attract attention. There will be those who will notice and they will follow and there will be those who notice and who mock. And we need to know that in life we will be mocked for our faith. But we will also influence and change for the good the lives of many others. And so, folks, as we go into the weekend, just remember, we must live out our faith. We cannot hide it like a lamp under a bowl. We must live it out. But there will, will be a consequence. There will be those who laugh at us, who will say we're drunk or mad or weird or whatever, psychologically disturbed. But here's the thing. We know the truth. We know that Jesus is Lord and he is alive and he lives within our hearts and he has given us a role to play. Let's live that role. Put up with any nonsense that comes our way. So folks, strength. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless. Bye-bye.